Hey. <laughs> hey up folks and a warm welcome to the show show 99 amazing tomorrow we're going to have a massive great show and all the best bits of the last hundred shows are going to be on there so it's going to be amazing and it's going to last for about 18 minutes we think <laughs> we're still trying to get it all sorted out right oh dear so we've got ricky the riddler we've got uh, justin we've got two great guests and on with the show oh my nephew told me a joke, he said, and he called him Mr. York, you know, he never cares, he's never that respectful. <laughs> Let's have buy him a PlayStation, of course. <laughs> he said, Uncle York, he said, I got this joke, he said. Oh, he said, as a scarecrow, he said, I'm outstanding in my field, but hey, it's in my genes. Three jokes in one, folks. You'll probably wake up, wake up tonight and say, Oh, I get that one now. <laughs> right, folks, after we go. One, two, three. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going to the end. Keep on going to the end of the show, my friend. Boo, boo. And as always, enjoy. Hey, see you later, folks. Ba -ba -da -ba.
Good morning to everybody, wherever you're watching all over the world, do hope you're doing well. This is our 99th show, so it's uh, quite incredible. Um, yeah, it's mental. Um, I was looking through a lot of the poems I've done over the years and everything. Um, I've got a really good friend in uh, in England called Danny. Um, Dan, and we, um, Danny, and we call him Dan, and um, he's a ta London taxi driver, he's been a London taxi driver for a long time, and he's a cracking guy, he's a really nice guy, and he's, he, you know, when he knows London like the back of his hand, that he, he takes people on tours around London, he's a cracking guy, really nice. Well, he was going out with, and years and years ago, um, he, he was going out with a girl called um, Abby, and um, she was going to go and leave um, and go and live in Thailand for a couple of years and teach children at schools. And she had a sister as well. So um, they invited me and her and her sister to go karaoke. She used to love going karaoke all the time. So they invited us, me and Danny, out one night to go and uh, do the karaoke. So we went. We'd never done it before. We didn't really fancy it. And... Um, it, <laughs> thought it might be a bit, and I, years ago I never used to do stand-up or anything, so we just thought, well, it's going to be a bit weird, but it turned out really funny, and um, it was good, it was really good, and it's like another case of trying something you've never tried before, you might like it, you know, if you don't like it, don't do it again, but if you do like it, like everybody used to tell me, <laughs> they used to tell me, oysters are lovely, they're cracking, they're really great, oysters are fantastic, so I tried them one day, and I, I hated them, I really hated them. They reminded me of eating bogeys. <laughs> that sounds a bit disgusting. So anyway, I never ate them again. And um, a couple of years ago, somebody said, oh, try them again, try them again. So I tried them again, and guess what? I hated them again. <laughs> Still tasted like bogeys. So for me, oysters are, you know, I don't like them, but loads of people love them, so get on with it. <laughs> Right, here we go. This is called Ode to Abbey. <laughs> right. My friend met a girl called Abby. He works in London as a cabbie. Abby has a sister called Caroline, and they love to go karaoke in their spare time. Me and Dan had a go on, on the mic. We both had fun on that Saturday night. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't, I'll get it out in a minute. We weren't looking forward to it, thought it might be. Not very nice. Bit scary. But then David Bowie popped up, popped up singing Wonderwall, and it turned out all right after all. <laughs> now Abby is leaving England on a great big plane. She's off to Bangkok. Bangkok. Oh, what a shame. I know she will do well in her two years away, teaching local children most of the day. All I hope for Abby and Dan is that they stay in touch and they have a plan. And when she comes back to old Blighty, she will be fulfilled, happy and totally free. <laughs> and um, I, I go by the... I go look at life now that everything in life has got a sell by date you know your relationship has got a sell by date whether you split up or whether one of you die it's a sell by date your job's got a sell by date where you live's got a sell by date i live in a beautiful island called jersey and um for me it, it, it's finished now so i've got 11 months to go or whatever and then i'll be going to live in thailand that's my next choice you know and of course my wife lives there so um <laughs> So I can't wait to see her, and um, hopefully I'll be over there before then. But um, yeah, everything's got a sell-by date, and if you look at it like that, if it's stuff stuff starts to get really hard and all that, it's it's just the universe way of telling you that you need to look at it and be brave and move on. Where, whatever it happens to be, if it's a relationship, if it's a job, um, if it's where you are, but don't leave where you are for the wrong reasons. You know, there's an old saying, and it says, "Wherever you go, there you are." And if, you, if you're a really sad person or you really feel bitter about stuff, don't matter where you go in the world or what somebody gives to you, you could be in a big mansion, but you could still be just sad because you haven't cleared it. You have to face all your demons and be brave. 
Um, this is my take on it anyway. You do whatever you want. Right, this has been John Lewis, and um, this is show 99, and um, I'm off for an ice cream with a flake. <laughs> and um, we'll see you in the 100th show tomorrow. Bye for now, and enjoy the rest of the show. Boop, boop. <laughs> and peace to you, and I love you all. Thank you.